to go. And so at this time, what I'd like to do is introduce a, a most fabulous lady, Gigi Owens. <laughs> she is, and she um, is um, with J.E. Dunn. So at this time, I will ask if you could please introduce yourself and then share some information about some of the openings that you have. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Kansas City employers and everybody involved in making this happen. This is a great opportunity. And I wanna especially thank Ms. Stacy and her team for putting this together because it's very important for uh, our residents to know that there, are, there are employment opportunities open in Kansas City. Ms. Gigi Owens, known as Ms. Gigi, and I'm the Community Relations Coordinator with J.E. Dunn Construction. And you might say, what is that? Well, this, actually, my position is, actually, the, I'm the first one to hold this position at J.E. Dunn in their 90 plus year history. My role has, has been to be on the construction sites and to make sure that females and minorities are working on our projects. My uh, role extended out in further assisting people in finding employment in the community because there's always a need. Everybody's not always interested in the trades, but at the same time, everybody needs to be employed. My role is to help end poverty one person at a time. And that's the role I took on when I came to JE Dunn. This September, I will be there seven years and my employment history has helped over 4,000 plus people in the Kansas City and metropolitan area find employment and also to do referrals to guide them to the other needs they may have past employment. You have to be housed somewhere or be living someplace. You have to have your life in a comfortable position so you can continue to go to work and get yourself out of poverty. A lot of people say when they meet me, how can I get on a J done? J. Dunn is a construction management company. I think a lot of people think that at J. Dunn that we hire on the carpenters, the laborers, electricians, and other people that do those services. But what we do are manage the companies and bring companies in. And as subcontractors, they hire on those types of workers. So I wanna let everybody know what exactly what I do. I wanna also share the information for those who may be interested in positions that J.E. done in construction management and engineering. I wanna first give the website address so you can go to it. It's www.jedunn.com slash careers. So if you are interested in a career at J.E. Dunn, your background is gonna to have to first start with a, a college degree in some type of construction management or in engineering. 90 plus percent of everybody at JA Dunn is a degreed employee. We also offer during the course of the year, people who may be in college that are in engineering and construction management, we do have programs that go on throughout the year and especially in the summer where they come into the company as interns so they can see the inside of what construction management and construction is about. Those people who are interested in that type of career, please still go to the same website, www.jedunn.com careers and sign up for that. We have people that come from all over the country and J.E. Dunn is just not in Kansas City. We have 21 offices across the United States. Kansas City is their headquarter office. As I was saying earlier, my role is to help people find employment. Most of my calls, 80 to 90% of the calls that I receive daily or Miss Gigi, please help me find a job. I would like to say that uh, 15 hour jobs are available here in Kansas City. We have to start taking time to look. We can't just call somebody and expect things to happen overnight. A career involves time and investment. So I wanna say to everybody listening this morning, if your true goal is to have not just a job, look toward a career. A job is something you can go in and work and quit, which a lot of people are in the poor habit of doing. If you decide you, if you have a family to take care of or yourself, you need to get stabilized. And stabilization means career. It doesn't mean a job. Today's activity is a career activity. It's for people who are actually looking for something that they can start with today and carry on till they retire. So I want everyone listening who's looking for that opportunity to keep that in mind. Look for something that you're interested in. Don't just look for something because you like what it pays. That's fine and dandy, but then you've made it a job. You want 
whatever you're doing to be something you like. So when you get up every day, you don't feel like you're going to work. You feel like you're going out to do something you enjoy doing and get paid. When you get that feeling, you'll get up every day and you'll go to it. So I'm ever so happy that I get up every day doing something I love doing, which is one, helping people, second, changing lives, and third, helping people get out of poverty one person at a time. I, as well as this career uh, opportunity this morning, want to make sure that people are employed. I don't want to tell anybody I'm going to offer you a job at J.A. Dunn because that's not what I do. What I do is share the information and give you the opportunity to go for it. What I can do, if I have your resume and your information, is to guide and steer you to employment that you'll probably stay at. Most of the people I've ever worked with or assisted in this endeavor are still employed. Out of those 4,000 plus people, best believe 3,000 plus are still working and have been since they picked up the mantle to change their life forever. I wanna suggest to anybody that is looking for employment, I want to leave my email address this morning and a contact number so you can reach me. I stay busy, but I return my calls and I'm even better if you text me or email me. My email address is capital G, capital G dot Owens, if you can see my name on the screen, at jedunn.com. My contact number is area code 816-426-8196. I would also like to share with those individuals that might be listening this morning. You might be thinking about a trades career. If you're interested in getting in a union, which a lot of people say is hard, it has been over the years. But I would like to say there are opportunities because there are a lot of projects going on. And another thing I want to say about uh, people that are interested in trades, most of the people that are working on these construction sites are in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. At a point in time, a lot of those people are gonna to wanna to retire. There is a shortage of trade people wanting to come into the trades. And I would like to ask this morning and for you ladies as well, we need ladies. Females have to be on every project that starts in Kansas City. It's against the law to start a project without females or minorities. So we are, the trades people are looking for people who are interested in getting out there being carpenters, engineers, laborers, bricklayers, and so on and so forth. If any trade is of interest to you, please contact me. I do work with all the trades and over these years, I have established relationships with the different unions and would like to assist you in getting into their uh, internship program so you can start your career in whatever trade you're interested in. One thing good about working in construction, you get paid every week. And the lowest salary in construction right now coming into an apprenticeship program is $18 an hour. And that goes up every year that you continue to complete your trades and hours toward being a journeyman, which, is a four, which means four years. I want to uh, also let people uh, know this morning, females, people of color, anybody listening this morning, if you have any interest or desire to change your life, this morning is the perfect opportunity to listen to all the different people who are coming on here talking about their openings. Please take time to want to change your life. It's about you. It's not about anybody that's on here this morning. It's all about you wanting to change your life. You have to take that first step. Nobody on here can do it for you. So take time to listen this morning, make good choices on what you want to do, and follow the excuse my voice is trying to get cracky. But just make a good choice this morning and stick with it. People that you see on here who are on here talking, we have made choices to change our lives and have moved forward. And that's why we're able to be on here this morning to even discuss and talk with you about changing your life forever. Career means changing your life. So I would like to ask this morning, everybody listening, keep those things in mind. You got to want to do it yourself. We can't help you. We can guide you there, but it's all about you. Again, my name is Miss Gigi Owens. I can be reached at area code 816-426-8196. And my email address is capital G, capital G dot capital O, lowercase W-E-N-S at J-E-Dunn.com. Again, 
Also, if anybody's interested in uh, my assistance or referrals, please forward me your resume. That's your first step. And let me say that as well again for everybody else you may listen to this morning. You must have a resume. Your resume is your calling card and your information to let the businesses know what you can do, what you have done, and what you're willing to do. So please get on top of your resume, update it, and get it ready so you can go out here and start having a fantastic life and working your way out of poverty. Do I still have time, Stacey? Yes, I don't yes, know if anybody might have had questions. We, okay, we will. Let's see if we have some in the chat, and it looks like we have someone. And, and I, I must say, instead of just being a, a recruiter or one that helps people get employed, you should be a motivational speaker because that's what, <laughs> that's what, I'm, that's what I'm here. I'm here to motivate. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> right, right. Well, you know, uh, let me say this, everybody. Uh, I don't know. I know Miss Stacy and people will know me for this. This card here, this is my famous intake card. And I want to share with everybody, I have to this date, I have 10,200 of these cords. That's how many people I've met since I've been at J. Dunn. And everybody, it has a different story. Everybody has a story, but I talk to people every day and um, it, it, it's very interesting. I, I actually love what I do. And it, it always becomes a challenge to make sure that I assist people. Some people come to me talking about housing, where to go get food. I mean, a little bit of everything. I even hear about people's personal relationships, which is not my business. But sometimes people just need a listening ear. They want somebody to listen and just maybe just to get that off their chest. So, and thank you. I uh, would like to think I motivate and help people make some good choices and get them on the right track. Yes, ma'am, you do, you do. And we do have um, a quick question for you in the chat. Um, this is coming from Emily. She hasn't had a chance to look online yet, and she wants to know um, at your available position. She said, can you tell us sort of uh, or what sort of positions you currently offer, like a, as of right now, if someone was looking today? If someone was looking at, at Jay Dunn, you would have to go on the website. Uh, Jay Dunn is always hiring. They are hiring in the craft, experienced professionals, which means you don't have to be young to come to Jay Dunn and work. And we also have the early career professionals, which are people that are coming out of college or they finish and they decide they want to get. Things that I have to offer today, or I don't want to tread on anybody else's making presentations, but uh, a lot of people that I've worked with in recent times, a lot of people who have I have talked to have gone on and they're working at... Uh, Amazon, uh, somebody here local, Miss Carol Taylor, a clean slate. So just uh, every day I get up and get on my computer, uh, public and private sector, I have gotten employment opportunities from them and really over the entire Metroplex. So may it be in maintenance, office, reception, management, community, public relations, there are openings in all those areas. So uh, for the individual to ask the question, if you would call me, afford me your resume, I will, uh, on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays every week, I'm sending out information on careers and other referral services that are out in the community. Okay, so people can send resumes to you just in, in general, and then you can kind of find where they need to go and to place them somewhere. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and it sounds like with, with you too, that a, a phone call just to, for them to chat with you so you can know who they are. And that's something yes. we did talk about earlier, Gigi, that some people want to work at a certain company, but if you don't know anybody there, and we know that most of the people that get hired are hired because they know someone. And so right. now, now they know you. And so if they're looking for something, in addition to sending the resume, they can call and say, hey, I'm, you know, I'm trying to figure out if I'm qualified for this job or what do I need to do and they need a path. And so there, there's an entree into the construction industry through you. And so, yes, we're, uh, so we're, we're thankful to have you here today. And then someone is asking again for your contact information. That's Julie. She's saying, what's your contact information again, please? Yes, ma'am. And uh, thank you, Miss Stacy, because, you know, I'm a, you have to be humble when you're out in the community. Mm -hmm. So, but if you ask me a question, I, I will give you a barrage of answers that I will be helpful. So thank you, Stacy. Uh, my contact number again is area code 816-426. 8196. And my email address is gg.owens, O W E N S, 
at jedunn.com. But yes, you're right, Miss Stacy. It's not always what you know, it's who you know. And that's very prevalent here in Kansas City. But I would like to be the go-to person for people who are trying to work their way into the construction industry. Or uh, another thing I, I want to say uh, on my time. A lot of people were working at places and since the pandemic happened, you know, everybody's been collecting that wonderful $600 additional money. Let me say something about that before my time ends this morning. Last week was the last week for that. Nobody should plan to live on money coming from the government on no level. The only thing we all should plan on is if we get our wonderful income tax money back each year because we have paid in to get it back. A lot of employment that people had, it's not gonna be there when you get back. So you shouldn't keep continuing to sit and waiting on your unemployment benefits. That's wonderful. And I was happy that happened for everybody. Everybody has to know, you may have to change your career. I don't care how long you've been doing it. Do not wait on your company to call you back. Humble yourself. And even if you have to go grocery store chains or hiring in management and all the way down. You might have to do, you might have to go work at a grocery store. You might have to go work at an Amazon. You might have to go do things you haven't done before. But you do those things to take care of yourself and family. So I'm going to ask everybody to go with this H word this morning. Be humble. Everybody does something different in their lifetime. And don't always plan to do what you've been doing. Try something new. Think about yourself and your family. I'm listening to people talking about being on the street, getting evicted, and you're hungry. The great thing going on now is harvesters is making sure that people are able to eat by uh, extending and working with all the different churches and community groups so they can have pass out food each week. There are three sites I work at each week helping pass out food and I also having my intake cards helping people find employment. We're going to have to do things different because it's a new day in the world. It's new and you got to get with the program. So I want to let everybody know if you can be connected with Stacy and all the other wonderful people who are taking time this morning, take time and connect with those people because being poor on the street now, all of a sudden living up under a bridge or trying to get in a shelter, it's rough out here. So be humble and take all the opportunities that are open to you today. Absolutely, absolutely. So thank you for that. And you do have another question here and we still have a couple more minutes before we move on to Cerner. Okay. Um, there's another question from Salvador. He said, hello, Miss Gigi. Are there entry level jobs for recent college graduates? Yes, they are. Uh, Jay Dunn is famous for bringing people in on entry level. And that's the, I said, early uh, uh, employment with uh, Jay e. Dunn. Uh, I wanna say to you, uh, good, good morning, Salvador. And uh, please get your resume together. Put on there, if you have your Section 3 certification, any OSHA, all that additional training that you have acquired, please add that to your resume. And please submit your resume today at Jay Dunn. Uh, Jay he Dunn has been hiring since the pandemic. Uh, we not only hire, like I said, in Kansas City, we have 21 other offices. Uh, Entry-level positions, uh, Jay Dunn likes to hire for. And I'm listening to uh, your last name. Jay Dunn is famous and has always been for diversity and inclusion. Uh, please submit your resume today. You can actually send it to me. I would like to suggest you send it your copy to the Jay Dunn website and also submit one to me. Please add my name uh, on your application for your referral. And as Stacy said earlier, it's uh, knowing somebody at a company sometimes brings you so much more leverage than just submitting yourself. I wanna make sure that people are employed and out there having a livable income and not on the street. All that leads back to poverty. And as I said, my goal is to help in poverty one person at a time. I'm with you on that. That's one of my personal missions to lift as many people out of poverty as possible. And this job fair today is a way to do it. So if someone's somewhere making minimum wage, double it today with one of these jobs. And like you said, they're out there and they are available. So I'm with you in that mission. Um, and we have Sean Smith with a note for you. He said, thank you, Miss Gigi. And then Salvador, again, his re replying back to you said, thank you so much, Miss Gigi. I really appreciate the information. And then I have to say that we appreciate the inf information and the inspiration. Um, is there anyone else with a question <laughs> for, for um, Gigi today, this morning? 
Okay. And so again, I want to make sure they have that phone number and that email address before we um, finish with you. And, and Kim is putting it in the chat so that everyone has your contact information. Hey, everybody, this is our friend at J.E. Dunn. So if you need somebody or need something, and again, like she said, this lady has access to community resources, citywide, whatever you need, she's a good point of contact, jobs or not. And so um, if you would just one last time, give your contact information again for those who may not be able to see the chat. Oh, I, I want to say one, one more thing. If anybody, um, I work on the Land Bank Board of Advisors, I'm your chairperson. If anybody on here is looking for a home and you're interested in getting it fixed up, I'm your girl for that as well, because we have a meeting next week and I'm right now on campaigning trying to get rid of houses and make sure people can get into homes as well. Um, contact number again is area code 816-426-8196. Email address, capital G. If you put it in lowercase, it's going to go into spam. So remember, everybody, it's two capital Gs, dot capital O, lowercase W-E-N-S, at jedunn.com. Uh, everybody, have a great morning. Thank you, Stacy and crew, for inviting me on. And I look forward to hearing from everybody out in the community that wants to change their life. Right, right. And then again, remember too, this is not just people that are on this Zoom call, but we're yes. broadcasting Facebook Live through a lot of different ways. And we ask other people to please share this today. Great information, help a friend out or neighbor, someone else that's out there looking for a job. And then Gigi, thank you. Thank you so much always. And thank you for what you do in our community and for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Everybody have a great day.